Hi there and here's another tutorial for Motion 5. In this I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple animated introduction whether this be for your YouTube channel or something like that. So I'm using my initials that's uh, NBB and I'm going to show you in Motion how we can create this pretty basic animation but there's a few little tricks to it that you might find useful. So um, let's open up a new Motion project and we'll set up our screen so we go to fit we'll draw in our background just going to run through this pretty quickly um, you should all be familiar with how to do this you can find it in my other tutorials anyway so we'll set up our background let's change our color we'll go a little bit darker and now we'll add a light to our scene so we'll switch to 3d there's our light and we'll up the intensity and let's bring it out a little bit. So there we got a slight vignetting effect. And there we have our basic setup. Now this group we'll call our background and we'll add our light into here also. Um, so now I'm going to draw in our circle. So we'll drag, uh, grab our circle tool, hold down shift so I get a perfect circle. We will um, turn off the fill, turn on the outline, I want a white outline and we'll make it 5 or let's say 10 pixel stick. Okay, then we'll drag this into the center of our screen. One other thing, I want to switch this back to our front view, go back to fit. Okay, so there's our circle, now we're going to animate this circle onto the screen. And we'll do that by using our um, last point offset. We'll add a keyframe. Then we'll spin forward, say, 20 frames. And move that up. And that will create our keyframe animation of our circle drawing on our screen. Next thing, I'm going to want the N to animate on. And we're going to... Use a bit of a trick here and use some um, layer masks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate of our layer. So we'll call this one background. And we'll call this one mask one. We'll lock our background layer. And our mask one, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to move some of these layers in position on the z-axis. So I want to set this one actually to 4. That makes our circle disappear, but we'll set our circle to 5, so our circle will come back. So imagine these are like a, a stack of cards. They're all stacked on top of each other. So the, the circle number 5, uh, so our circle is stacked um, at, say, layer 5. Um, now I want our mask tool and we're going to want to apply that to this. So we'll grab our circle mask and I want to make this circle about the same size as our other circle here. If you want it anything, you want it to be a tad smaller so it fits just in the center. There we go. So there's our circle. And this mask I want to set to a subtract mask. So you can see here now we have a copy of our background layer with a, with a hole in the middle. So we'll grab our text tool and we'll create our text letter N. We'll make it, let's say, 400 in size. And now, you'll see if we move this down, it disappears off of the screen. Um, now, in preparation for later, I just want to set this Z layer to 1. And now we'll set our start position, which will be somewhere down here. So after our circle is drawn, we want our N to animate onto the screen. So 
We'll set a new home position. We'll go forward, maybe frame number 35, and we'll change our Y position to the middle there. So now let's watch that. There's our end coming on. Maybe we'll make that 40 frames so it comes on a little bit slower. Okay. Now I want to animate our circle off the screen. So we're going to do the opposite of what we did before. Um, we'll go this time to our first point offset. So let's set there our N has come on the screen. We'll add we go forward to frame 55 and we'll drag this off like that. And let's check out the animation. There we go. Now we want to move the N over to the side. So we'll grab our N and we want to set again a keyframe for our position. And we'll go forward to frame 70. And we'll move our N over to the left. Now you can see it's disappearing again behind our mask that we have left over from before. So what we want to do is remove that mask from the scene when we're finished with it. So by the time we're finished with it, which is there, we'll drag the mask back. So now our end will not disappear. Now we're going to want to create another mask for our B to appear from behind. So let's go forward to here. We're going to have a letter B which is going to appear. So let's add our B first to the scene. Um, we'll make that 400 and let's change its position. Now you can see it is still visible behind our N, which we don't want. I want the B to appear like it's appearing from the, the, the end there. So we're going to want to duplicate our layer again. We'll call this one Mask 2. And we're going to want this time to draw in a rectangular mask. which will cover this section of our background and we go to subtract again. So now we've got a window that our B can appear and dis disappear behind. Um, let's get our mask too. We don't want that to appear in our scene until later on. So we'll drag this over to here. And then we're going to want to set this mask above our B in our stack of cards. So in our properties, our Z is on zero. So we want our new mask two to be set to one. And now when we grab our B and we move it off of the screen to the left, it disappears behind our mask. So we'll add a keyframe here. We'll spin forward to frame 85. And we'll move our B out. To there. And there we go. So once our B is on the screen, our mask 2 
can also vanish from our scene because it's no longer required. And then in part two, I'm going to show you how we animate the bee and um, we make it flip out. So uh, I'll see you in part two of this tutorial. Thanks for tuning in.